right, so let's get to it. So, those are the products that I sent to Andrea to help me. And I said to her, I said, I want you to take a picture of before and after. And she hasn't texted me all week, so I don't know if she actually used it. She was very excited when she got her package. So anyway, with all of that, um, I will let you know in a little blurb which um, concealer she ended up picking up. And right, so I hope you really enjoy this. Um, it's I'm calling it uh, like... Um, Kristen Game calls it the Four Lux One Palette. So here you go, Four Lux One Palette. And I did try and use a lot of these. There's a couple of standouts that I like picked other things just because um, I wanted a different base or something like that. But for the most part, blush foundation, lipstick, everything I used all the same. So I don't show you that in every video. I show you in the first video and then my makeup pretty much stayed the same throughout. So you'll probably see just the eye tutorial. In this last tutorial, I just do one eye because I figured you're going to see both right now. So have a great time. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want more of these videos, let me know. Thumbs up. Um, and I can anyway, work so on enjoy. Them. Please subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Pinterest as well and I did post daily looks of every look on Instagram with a little like hashtag was um, I'm working on a four looks uh, one palette so thanks for watching I hope you subscribe tell your friends thanks All right, Bye. so here we go um, so I'm going in the first look with the base primer of my brulee color from the little individual wet and wild colors and I'm putting that all over my lid next I'm going to take the brownish color in that quad and um, it's like the light color. Okay, so then I'm going to take that charcoal color from the palette on a brush and just kind of um, do the outer half, like quarter of my eye. Smudging the darker color on my lower lash line in addition to uh, putting in the highlight color there, there was a color, a light color. So then I'm going to smoke it out again with the black. Back in with that lighter color in the palette, not the brulee color, and just kind of touch up the areas that I, the fallout was. I'm highlighting with brulee. going to go in with my Our Heart Extreme Mascara. I do use this mascara throughout the entire tutorials, so um, that will not change. Giselle comes down, so I have to get her to be occupied. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to do the rest of my face. So. I'm priming my face first with the L'Oreal BB Cream. I think this is an excellent primer to put underneath foundation for a little bit more coverage and to smooth out your face. Uh, so I just put that all over my, my face. And I'm in the shade Fair. And the color that I'm using is 120 Vanilla from the Nearly Naked Foundation. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. And I'm putting that all over my face with my fingers. Um, I did not send my friend any... Uh, brushes for foundation. She's just starting out and all I ever really used was my um, my fingers before. Yeah, I only really ever used my fingers to blend before and now I'll use the, the brushes. So if she wants them, I would recommend the, the Royal Cosmetic brushes. They're, they're just as comparable as to Sigma's. I'm going in with my under eye highlighter or like concealer. This is the Maybelline one. Giselle's making me laugh. And I'm also using this as a, um, like a concealer as well. I'm using my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. And I am using an e.l.f. Um, complexion brush as my uh, cheek, my blush brush. And I'm using the e.l.f. Studio blush in Mellow Mauve, and I'm going in today, that day, with um, the lip color in uh, 
Mocha Muse or something, I think it was called. All right, so there's that look. Look number two was a more dark and sultry look, um, but it was an everyday color. I did use the three light grays and the black. So I'm gonna start out with a base. So the base I'm using is the Maybelline Color Tattoo and the same quad I'm showing you. So I'm using this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Silver Strike. And I'm just putting that all over my lid to help hold that product. This does a really great job in terms of like setting the product and keeping it for longer periods of time. So I'm, gonna, I'm starting with that light silver color and I'm putting that all over my lid as a nice base. I like the word base today. I'm making sure I get that down into my, um, my inner corner so I don't have to go back and do it. I'll clean it up later with a tissue I don't have foundation on so it kind of works best. So I'm going in with that charcoal color, I'm going in with a crease brush, this is an LA Colors brush, and I'm going to smoke that into the crease and the outer corner. I think the toughest part is getting it even if you're just starting out. Um, I know that's where I struggled the most in terms of making my eyes look the same, which is why I started to just do my eyes at the same time. So I'm taking that e.l.f. blending brush that I just got recently, and I think this is great. So I have a couple, and I'm just kind of going over slightly with the black to just smoke it out and darken it up a little bit. I actually did get a lot of compliments this day on my eye makeup and no one at work believes me that it's wet and wild so I kind of enjoy that because it, it's what I want. I want you guys to know that you can do great things with drugstore makeup so and I think wet and wild has a great um, diversity in terms of getting that done. I'm just cleaning it up with a baby wipe. I'm going in with a flat brush from e.l.f. and I'm using the black as an eyeliner because I did not purchase an eyeliner for these tutorials for her. But if you had an eyeliner that you wanted to use in liquid form, that's fine. But I'm just showing you the versatility of this palette. Um, I'm smoking the bottom down with the black as well. And I'm using the same flat brush. And I'm going in with my highlight color. I'm using brulee. The finished look. I forgot to put lipstick on this day, but I did go in with the other color. Number three. Um, this is a more daytime, like subtle look I wore. So I'm using the the primer that I got, which was the Fergie one I already had. Um, I'm using a like the eyeshadow that come with it so you can pack on the color. So I'm starting with that light color in the palette and I'm just going to spread that all over my lid using the little like eyeshadow um, sponge because I think they're great for packing on um, and I think another subscriber actually agreed with me. I use, the, I use these during the Wet n Wild series pop art craze. I'll link that below and you can see it really really packs on the color really 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 well. So making sure I get an even coat and I'm also bringing that down into my inner corner and now I'm using brulee for my highlight obviously I'm highlighting early today and I'm going in with the tan color I'm not using yeah I need a clean crease brush set so tan color in all of the the crease um, and blending it down into the eye itself, the lid rather. Now I'm just blending the other side. I'm using, I forget what color, I think there's a dark tan in that color as well. If not, I'm going in with the nutty color. I think I'm using nutty at this point to uh, get a deeper darker brown. I apologize for not showing you the colors. Um, I should have done that. And that was the look. Very uh, very neutral for the day. I'm just going to apply my mascara and I believe that's it. Again I used all of the same foundation and stuff like that so I didn't show you again.
or I'm sorry. <laughs> and I showed this in my intro. This is the color and the look that I'm in the intro. And I'm just doing one eye just for the sake of time. Um, this is a very dark, sultry, like I said, look that I would wear to go out. So I'm using that um, eyeshadow spoolie again, but I'm using the reverse side and packing on color, and then I'm blending it out with a brush. So now I'm putting that dark charcoal color all over my lid, and I don't have a base other than the... Um, the primer, the Wet n Wild primer. So I'm just smoking that out all over my lid. I'm using a piece of tape. I'm using a piece of scotch tape to get a very sharp line. This is a great trick. Um, and you want to put it on the back of your hand a little bit so it's not as tacky so you don't like pull half your skin off. And then I'm using the black to really get that sharp like uh, outer like wing kind of look. This was the, the quickest, I think, looks. Um, it really, because I only used the two colors and then the little bit of the other one. So, and then I'm just going to smoke it out like everywhere. And I think I used the black as a, a liner as well. Yeah, so I'm going to take my smudge brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to just smoke out that bottom with the black. And then, okay, this is the lighter color, that light, light silver. I'm getting it to pop in the inner corner. So it's the lightest silver in the, and here I'm just blending. I'm just blending it all together. And I'm using the same, like, white in that palette as a highlight because it's shimmery. And then I'm going in with my mascara, and I clean it all up. And here's when I'm going in to use that black as an eyeliner. This palette is super versatile. I mean, you can really use. And I learned the the eyeshadow trick from the Mac store. The girls at the Mac counter um, taught me that a long time ago. Using that liner as extra dimension up at the top. 